This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the CEO of Cross River Ventures, Mr. Alex Klenman. Alex, Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you, Gerardo. Thanks for having me. You know, I think 2021 is going to be a year of significant discoveries, and it really makes my heart smile to see you know, the first effective trading day to see gold up over 2%, you know, some 40 plus dollars, silver up over 2% as well. Cross River Ventures has spent the last several months, especially the last several months, setting the table for what I think could be a very, very exciting 2021. You just recently closed a flow through financing of nearly $2 million. I would love for those that are maybe new to the space um, or new to the company for you to provide a brief overview of Cross River, and then let's talk about why 2021 should be an exciting one for everyone. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for that. No, the um, the main thing here is you know we're a, we're a pure exploration play. Um, we're located in northwestern Ontario. We have 28,000 hectares, which is a lot of ground, district scale land packages. Uh, we have multiple projects in the neighborhood of 10 or 11 of them at the, at the, uh, currently. And uh, we're going to be a very busy explorer in 2021, and we're looking for discovery of, of something significant. And, and when you have um, location, which we have, we have size, which we have, uh, the one project, McVicker, for example, is 11,500 hectares. It's basically controlling all of the major faults and breaks of the Lang Lake belt. So we have a, a greenstone belt to ourselves and uh, we, we're set up well. We have a great technical team uh, led by Dr. Rob Carpenter. Uh, Dr. Carpenter was the CEO of Kamenik. Uh, when Kamenik sold for half a billion dollars, he's, him and his team were the people involved with the discovery of the coffee gold deposit in the Yukon that became a 5 million ounce deposit. So we have, um, you know, uh, a technical team that's been there and done that in a very successful way, and we're capitalized and and ready for uh, ready for 2021. Let's talk about what that looks like. Uh, you recently raised the two million that I mentioned. Where is that money going? Mm -hmm. It's a flow through private placement, so obviously it's going in the ground, mm -hmm. right? You betcha. Uh, and that was the important thing to do was was get that uh, get those budgets set early. And and make sure that we're we're uh, ready to roll uh, in Q1, which we are. So we're we're in. The, there's several initiatives going on uh, at the moment. One is permitting. Uh, so we're looking at uh, reaching out to First Nations groups, for example, other stakeholders in the areas of the priority properties. Basically, McVicker would be the number one there. And uh, we're getting involved with the permitting process. So we're ready for um, the heavier exploration. Uh, in the warmer months, i.e. drilling. Uh, so that's underway. We're also in the middle of uh, our da data drive. Um, and that's what we're doing is, is for all of the Ontario properties, we're doing thorough data compilation and technical review. And that's the technical team um, uh, under really the guidance here of, of Dr. Carpenter and Lori Peslowski, our exploration manager. Um, that'll be done over the next 30 to 45 days, and, and the result of that is really a better understanding of the geology and the endowment potential of each property based on that available data. Uh, and from that, we'll get our targeting initiatives outlined for the next uh, phase of exploration, which is the drilling part. Um, and then we're working on our budgeting. Really, once we get all the data compiled and we know uh, where we're going to be drilling and, and, and what's required, uh, we'll put our budgets into place for Q2, Q3, and we'll be ready to roll. Alex, you and I had a conversation a few months back, and we talked a bit about the dot-com bubble. And, and you know, I'm a trends person. I like to yeah. get ahead of trends. I like mm -hmm. to position myself um, strategically, but but in very consequential ways. I like to take big positions ahead of the herd, as Mr. Jim Dines would say, right? Um, can you speak yeah. a bit to that history and, and your background there? And then I have to get your take on precious metals here for 2021 because the setup i think couldn't be better right no i agree 100 percent. i mean you look at, at at all of the things that led to the record gold price in 2020 are still very much on the table i mean yes we have a vaccine or vaccines in the mix now so we do have you know light at the end of the tunnel but that tunnel is still lengthy uh, it's going to take quite a while to get the get the vaccines rolled out and to get uh, enough people vaccinated where we begin to see this this pandemic in the rearview mirror. Um, and I still think we're going to see a lot of uh, 
financial distress and a lot of economic issues uh, resulting from 2020 throughout 2021. I mean, commercial real estate is one mm. one sector that I think is going to take a big hit. But you know, we'll, there's still a long way to go. So all of the things that were in play, um, and then obviously look at look at what's happening with the U.S. election and 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 the and the uh, very real possibility that trillions in stimulus will get passed. Uh, and and obviously that that's the printing of money is is always a good thing for the price of gold. So we're we're headed in a in a in a in a good place I think for the price. I think there's no reason uh, at all that we we can't surpass what we did in 2020 in terms of the gold price. And uh, if if that's the case, you know obviously we're in a in a very commodity friendly market and gold will shine. So uh, we we're we're that we're an explorer that you have to look at in that environment because. Um, you know, we could be the next big thing if if we if we're able to pull off what we think we've got. You're set up properly because of the share structure, right? And I I, I take Bitcoin. I know you know yeah. a lot of people won't make the connection, but we've seen the recent performance of Bitcoin, and a large part of that is very simply the structure, right? There's only so many coins. Mm -hmm. More and more people yeah. are waking up to the fact that the counterfeiting of money, the printing of money is going to continue at a record pace. And so you have more dollars chasing finite assets, right? And and, and quality exploration right. companies that have good share structures and succeed, I think are going to be in for extraordinary gains. Can you go over the share structure briefly for us? Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, 22 million out prior to the uh prior to the financing. So I've got to get you an updated number there. We did 1.9 million at 37 cents. So uh, there's some math to do. I'm sorry, I don't have that in front of me, uh, but still extremely tight. And, and what you want to do is really get to discovery with 35 or 40 million out. If you can stay in that 30 to 40 million range, you know, even 50 on the outset, isn't 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 terrible. But if you have that type of a tight structure, when you make a, an impactful discovery, uh, then you know, as you mentioned, um, you get that supply demand uh, scenario that usually results in dramatic uh, price increases. And and you know, we all like to talk about Great Bear Resources. I mean, they had 30, 35 million out when they when they had a big hole, and uh, the rest is history. And and I think that's really how we're set up. We have the right team to do it. We have the right size land packages in the right areas. And uh, you add it all up and it, it, it really ticks a lot of boxes uh, for investors. A lot to like, Alex. Thank you so much for the update. I'm looking forward to having you back on as we get some more data in the field um, and, and interpret it and, and obviously setting up for exciting drill programs, right? You betcha. And I appreciate uh, getting uh, getting uh, um, uh, into your audience and, and letting them uh, you know, learn more about the company. If, they, if anybody has any specific questions, they can certainly email or call and uh, we'll get right back to them. Fantastic. The website is CrossRiverVentures.com. Alex, thank you so much. Thank you, Gerardo. Have a great 2021. You as well.